my channel and today we'll be doing a first impressions on the Cover FX Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation. I think this is the only foundation they have that's liquid minus their drops. I could be totally wrong. But here is what they claim. They claim that it's clinically tested, paraben fragrance, gluten, mineral, oil, and talc free. It's vegan. It's a healthy, oil-free foundation with flexible, sheer to full coverage, which I find interesting. Um, it contains powerful vitamins and antioxidants. This formula helps hydrate, reduce the look of redness, and leaves a beautiful natural finish. So lately, my skin has been acting up, as you can tell. Um, it's been really dry in some places and it's been super oily in other places. Like my chin has become this like oil zone and my under eyes have become the Sahara Desert and also like above my brows have been super dry. So my skin's kind of going through a funk and I just think that's because like the weather's changing and stuff. But I got the shade N40. I have no idea if this is my correct shade. I did purchase this in stores at Sephora. But my Sephora has terrible employee service, like customer service. It is, it is terrible. I absolutely hate shopping at my Sephora, which I, it sucks because most people don't have a Sephora where they live. So I should feel lucky to have a Sephora where I can go in and actually test the products. And mine is, is inside a JCPenney, so it is a bit smaller and we don't get like a lot of, like the main stuff, but still, like, I should be excited to go shopping at Sephora and I freaking hate it because the customer service is horrendous. I think I've tweeted about it three or four times and nothing has happened. Not that I expect anything would, but it's just, it's, it's terrible. So the reason why I wanted to try this foundation is because of Shades of Cassie. She talked about it on her channel and she said she liked it and I just wanted to check it out. And Cover FX to me is a really good up and coming brand. I know they're very popular, but I think they're going to become even more popular. I've used a couple of their primers as like samples and love them. Everyone loves their drops. And I didn't want to purchase the drops just because I feel like that's more of a high maintenance foundation than this. Because the drops, you have to have something else to mix with it and then apply it where this is just done. So hopefully N40 is my color. This is the darkest medium shade they have. And I don't know if it oxidizes or not. I probably should have gotten N35. Um, I was on the fence between N35 and N40. I felt like N35 was a bit too light for me. But then I should have realized it may oxidize. So you should have gotten that color instead of N40. But I was probably like crouch down because they have these at the very bottom shelf at the cover effects counter for about 10 15 minutes and no one asked me if i needed help so i'm a bit bitter but here it is so i'm gonna i already applied my what did i apply i applied my makeup forever step one smoothing primer so i'm using this just because this is my go-to primer um this is my go-to primer for anything, like if I have special occasions, if I need it to last a long time, this is the go-to primer, but I do want to try it with other primers that I'm using right now, like my NYX Angel Veil, but for the purpose of this video and to give this foundation its best chance, like, to do good, I'm using this. So this is a first impressions, and I don't know much about it, it's not going to be a review video, but here we go. So putting it on the back of my hand it seems to like match my skin tone pretty well but and it seems like a super thick formula so let's see and it's supposed to be hydrating so hopefully it's good and I think I'm gonna start doing more first impressions videos just because you guys seem to really like those like two of my most popular videos out of my top five are first impression videos so And I'm just going to get the rest of it with my beauty blender. Where is it? So, let's apply it. Also, I'm using the black beauty blender. 
and I don't know what the difference between the black and the purple and the red and the white and all the other ones are, but I prefer the black one much better than any of the other, any of the other ones. I think that's weird. I think there used to be a difference. This looks really white on me. Um, but I don't think there's a difference anymore. Like, my camera makes it look super white. But if you look at my neck, it's matching my neck. So it's actually providing some really good coverage right now. I put about a pea size and a half all over my face. And it seems to be working. Let's see. I now have to use a viewfinder. I have these baby hairs, which I freaking hate them, but it's so hard to apply foundation on with them. Oh my eye. So I went to get my brows done. I was, I had this on my Snapchat video, and I said I was going to talk about that in this video but I didn't but anyways so I went to get my brows done yesterday because I well I've been trying to do them myself and every time I do them myself my brows look ratchet and they look terrible so I have I had them grown out like they were like full-on bushes on my eyes like I look like I had two caterpillars like the hairy caterpillars all over my face but Anyway, so they were really, really long, and so I guess the lady felt that it was going to be, like, a huge task to do my brows. So she was, like, in a freaking hurry, and there was no one else in line to get my brows done. And I've been to this place before, and they've done them pretty well. Like, they're not, like, not perfect. There, there's one place I love here that I love to get my brows, but on the complete other side of town. And so I was there to get my brows done and she literally attacked my brows. Brutally attacked my brows, enough she wears, she left a burn mark. If you wanna see what it looks like, just go to my Snapchat. Actually, by the time this video is up, that story's gonna be gone, so let me zoom you in. So you really can't see it anymore, but that right there is super red and it hurts so bad and I know it's a burn, because the second she took the strip off, my eye was on fire. And I didn't say anything because that was the first thing she did. And I was like, I can't walk out the salon with my brows like lopsided. So, yeah. All right, let's talk about this foundation. So, I feel it on my face. Which, I think that's how hydrating foundations are. You feel them. And I don't know how I feel about that, but I feel it on my face and it's getting, it's giving me some pretty good coverage and it actually matches my skin tone quite well. So I'll have to see if it does oxidize, but it matches pretty well actually. And my under eyes don't look that bad, but I do want to see if I can build the coverage up because you can kind of still see my acne spots right here. So kind of like right there, you can see it here, but, and it feels very, it feels dewy. I want it to, I want to see if it's gonna dry. My dog's going crazy. Um, but other than that, it looks pretty, pretty good. So let's see if we can build it up. My skin's acting up so bad. So we're literally, literally putting that much and we're just gonna have it focused on my troubled spots. Cause I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but I hate using concealer to cover acne. Because it's like an extra step and it just bothers me. So I just like using concealer for my under eyes. So I want my foundation to do what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to cover everything make everything a flat foundation. So, let's see. Yeah, it seems to be working good. All right, so I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face and then I'll come back and tell you guys how it's working so far. And then I'm gonna film a couple videos and then I'll finish this first impressions. So, and then I'll have a review up for you guys later this month, so. 
Okay, so now that all my face makeup is done, I do have a couple thoughts to say about this foundation. So, I do have some acne scars right here. And since it's so hydrating, I think it my skin is soaking it up. So it's like soaking into the scars. So they are a little bit noticeable. And the coverage isn't so full. Now that it's had time to like, you know, work with my skin, because it's been about a good 30, 30 minutes because I had some issue with my makeup today. But it's been about a good 30 minutes and my it hasn't oxidized. And so it matches my skin tone really well. So I'm happy about that. Like I wanted a full coverage foundation. That's what I wanted. And I could still see some of my blemishes. They're still showing through. So like pigmentation wise, like of course, like if they're like mountains, they're still gonna show. But pigmentation wise, I can still see some of them, which is kind of disappointing. But we'll see, we'll like go throughout the day, see how it wears. Um, but right now I'm not that satisfied satisfied with it. Like it is, it is hydrating because I can feel it on my face. I can feel it on my chin and I can feel it above my brows, which I think is a weird place to feel but it's working so far kind of but later today i will give you guys my final thoughts and if you're wondering what i'm wearing makeup wise for blush i'm wearing cruel intentions from ColourPop, and then i'm wearing the sun booster from physicians formula bronzer i'm wearing champagne pop highlight and my lips are nars audacious lipstick in the shade live I'm wearing Peach Smoothie all over my lids from Makeup Geek, Creme Brulee in my crease. And like, because I, since, I, since I have that burn on my eye, I went with a very simple eye look. And then I'm wearing Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced.